My name is Jennifer K. Mall, uh, MPH. I am a FINSI Fellow, 2014 FINSI Fellow, working with Dr. Sue Mandy and Dr. Joe Ahern at the Lupus Center of Excellence in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I was interested in lupus because it's a really complex disease. It has a lot of different components and there isn't just one answer or one test that, that helps you identify a patient. You have to put together all these different moving pieces of the puzzle. The project is actually a 20-year follow-up of a cohort that Dr. Manzi started following in 1995. And she enrolled this cohort to start looking at cardiovascular health in women with lupus. And they were known from some previous literature to have um, higher risk of cardiovascular events. So in order to investigate that, she gathered this group of women from the Pittsburgh area and started following them in 1995. And at baseline, they were given a carotid ultrasound. So um, it looked at the IMT and the number and count of plaques in their arteries. And then they were followed for now 20 years. And my job is basically to call all of the study participants and interview them about their cardiovascular health since the last time the study spoke to them. The questions I'll be asking them are if they've had any cardiovascular events, if they've had any hard or soft events, hard events being a uh, heart attack or a stroke, and soft events being things like TIA or mini stroke, cardiac catheterizations, blood clots, things of that sort and also interviewing them about risk factors. Do they have a family history of heart attack, family history of stroke? Do they uh, smoke? Do they are, have diabetes, hypertension, things like that? We're just looking at mainly trying to correlate if at baseline their IMT value or their plaque number will be able to tell us whether they are at risk of having an event later on in life. And the ultimate goal of the project really is to have some sort of non-invasive intervention that can happen at diagnosis of lupus that will be able to identify those at risk so that you can take action before arteries harden, before plaques develop, something, maybe a lifestyle or medication prescription that doctors can give patients that will enable to them to intervene before disease gets too serious. What we've learned thus far is that the Previous studies have shown that the levels at baseline have predicted whether women are at risk for heart attack and stroke later on, and our, fo our findings really have shown that this association is even stronger at the 20-year mark. I definitely think, uh, as a medical student, this shows me that you don't have to pick patient care or research. You can really have the best of both worlds. You can use what you learn at the bedside, take it to the laboratory, study it, and bring those things back to help your patients. Being a FINSI fellow has definitely opened my eyes to the field of rheumatology and the possibilities that are out there, and I definitely see myself going into lupus research in the future.